I, I have been a passionate reader since I was three, and I wanted to be a writer pretty much since I was four or five years old. So to me, libraries have always been sacred spaces, and librarians were kind of like the keepers of the flame of these amazing places. Um, yeah, so I remember going with my parents, uh, with my mom especially, to the library, and it was a ritual in our family, and it was something we did every few days or at least every week. And for me, it was kind of a highlight of the week. I remember the, the rows of books in the library, and I remember being able to kind of wander through these rows as if they were paths through a wood, because it was like there were fantastic discoveries um, on, on either side of you in these paths. So um, libraries were, were, were the place that made these things happen for me. Yeah. It used to be that I did all of my writing in a local cafe, but recently we moved to a new town, and our town has an absolutely beautiful, spectacular library. And I've now shifted my work habits, so I do almost all of my writing at the local library. Um, and it's so, it, it, this library has such a deep history. Uh, you know, you can feel a hundred years of book lovers within its walls. And so that's so inspiring to me as I'm working. This is really going to, uh, it, 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 it's going to cripple a kind of lifeblood of readers in communities around the country. So I think it's a really dangerous thing. And you know, especially for children whose parents can't afford maybe or don't think to buy them books and bring them home, the libraries are really what they have to connect them to their, their heritage of literature. Um, I, you know, it's hard for me as a lifelong reader and as a lifelong writer to think of any book really that's worth banning. I mean, even the most objectionable one. And I have memories as a child of reading under the covers and kinds of books that we weren't supposed to be reading. And I think that those played every bit uh, as fundamental a role in who I became as the books that were uh, smiled on by the grown-ups. I do have another book up my sleeve, but at the same time that I'm going to be writing that book, I expect that I'm going to be advocating for and advancing and talking about the ideas that are in quiet probably for the rest of my life. Uh, because for me, it, it's not only a book, but it's also a mission and a view of the world.